sky, wars, and rumors of wars. I tell you, before it comes, that when they come to pass, you may believe that I am you. Return unto me. And I will return unto you. Return unto you. Repent. 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 Behold, I come quickly. Good day and grace unto you. Many of you know me, but for those of you who don't, I am Ambassador Chantrell Davis of Preach, Be a Voice, Not an Echo Ministry. Welcome to Roar of the Ruach. The focus of this broadcast is Kingdom Watchings, A Call for Repentance, Warning, Rebuke, Prophetic News and Updates, Sounding the Alarm of Judgment and of the Sword. Warning the wicked, according to Ezekiel 33, 7 through 9, and warning the righteous, according to Ezekiel 3 and 20. Indeed, the Ruach is ruined. So stop, turn back, for the time of no remedy is fast approaching, and for some, it is already upon them. Let's get into today's information. Good day, beloved, and thank you for joining me again today on Roar of the Ruach. I am Ambassador Chantro Davis. Today is November the 3rd of 2017. It is 440 p.m. Central Standard Time. Today is another update of a dream and a vision that the Lord has given me. We prove our ministry and we prove our Lord because he does make things known unto his servants, the prophets, and all those who will obey the sound of his voice. If you have the Holy Spirit, he can move and operate into through you how he will. There is no gift you cannot operate in when you yield to the Holy Spirit because the Holy Spirit is the gift who gives all gifts. I'm going to say that again. The Holy Spirit is the gift the word speaks about who imparts all gifts. Let's get right into this message. Proverbs 29 and 18. Where there is no vision, the people perish. This is the word of God. Second, Chron Second Chronicles 36 and 16. But they mocked the messengers of God and despised his words until the wrath of the Lord arose till there was no remedy. That's what has been going on. You're being mocked. If if what the, the Lord gives you don't happen the next day or, or if they just think it's ludicrous, some people do it because they are frightened. A lot of people respond out of fear. Fear causes anger because of this frustration because there is uncertainty. When all you have to do is come over into the and be covered by the wings of the most high God. They, they despise. They said to the wrath of the Lord arose till there was no remedy. First John 4 and 6, he that knoweth God heareth us, and he that is not of God hears us not. This is why y'all got contention. This is why people are challenging everything you do. This is why you have mockers. There are false brothers unaware who have come out to spy out our liberties privately to bring you back into bondage, to tell you what you can and can't do or what gifts you should or shouldn't operate in or what you should or shouldn't do or your name don't start with a Y or you don't worship on the Sabbath. Them are people trying to bring you back into bondage. Keep your eyes on the Lord God because the gift of the Holy Spirit will impart what gifts he chooses to those who obey. Let's get right into this message. John 13 and 19. Now I tell you before it come, that when it come to pass, you may believe that I am he. According to Ezekiel 33, 1 through 4, when you see the sword coming, you are to warn them from me. Bring a sword upon the land. He says, warn them, blow the trumpet. And that's what I'm doing today. You read Ezekiel 33, 1 through 4. The dream. 8 15 of 2017 news broadcast no water no food trucks he gave me specifically unable to get through roads impassable pay attention to the words this is how the lord lets you know the timing of a thing it doesn't mean it stops her but the timing of a thing do your best to survive delivered september 22nd 2017 by preach your voice not an echo 
This is the art. I saw on World News, various forms, I put BBC, World News for art, because I, I didn't see BBC. I just know it was World News because a world map was being shown as it scrolled as the Lord gave me this. Uh, uh, no water trucks, no food trucks. Uh, lock in and survive the best you can. Okay, you only can put so much on art. I do the best I can. Uh, uh, my gift will make room for me in the name of Jesus. <laughs> uh, next slide. This is just some uh, some articles you can go find. This is what you'll see that'll come up in Puerto Rico containers full. Uh, goods sit undistributed at ports. Puerto Rico aid is trapped. Okay, their aid is trapped in Puerto Rico containers full. Uh, goods sit undis undistributed at parts at ports. This was the time of the thing. I obey the voice of the Lord. This is fulfilled and fulfilling because I say again, it will happen again. It will only get worse. Hear me clearly. This is a birth pang of scarcity. This is a birth pang of lack. And the specific birth pang of lack and scarcity is about to get worse. Puerto Rico aid is trapped. Thousands of shipping containers. You can see this was updated at 7.36 p.m. September 28, 2017. CNN, a mountain of food, water, and other vital supplies have arrived in Puerto Rico's main port at San Juan, but a shortage of truckers and island devastated from infrastructure at, at, are making it tough to move aid where it needs to be, okay? At least 10,000 containers of supplies including food, including water, were sitting Thursday in San Juan, undistributed. Updated 1010, millions of people in Puerto Rico need food, fuel, water, food, medicine. More than a week after Hurricane Maria devastated the island, more infrastructure is still down. Stores have trouble filling their shelves. Families are running low on the supplies they stockpiled before the storm and across the island many residents say they haven't seen any aid it's one thing to get supplies to puerto rico but officials at the department of homeland security which uh administers at fema say moving goods around in the island is a bigger challenge diesels in short drivers are scarce and authorities say some roads are what did the lord say to us m impassable impassable roads fulfilled but hear me fulfilling it will happen again okay local officials dispute the explanation the roads were impassable just like the lord showed he says specific key words to let you know the timing and i hearken unto his voice i prove his voice is real he speaks to his servants Ezekiel 4, 6 through, 16 through 17. Moreover, he said to me, son of man, behold, listen carefully. I'm going to break the staff of bread that supports life in Jerusalem. Like, what did I say? Well, one person said of people do, if anyone else follows the same suit, they suffer the same things. And they shall eat bread rationed by weight and eat it with anxiety and fear. You think they ain't eating with anxiety and fear to run out with aid can't get to them? They're in fear and anxiety right now. And drink water by measure and drink it in a horror of the impending starvation. They are scared to starve. You think this word right here ain't active? This is the rhema word. What is he saying now? Ezekiel 4 and 16, this is the Amplified. And we did again, because bread and water will be scarce and they will look at one another in dismay and waste away in punishment in punishment, in punishment. This is judgment for their wickedness, okay? And America is not, yeah, that was part of America. Trust me. I say again, this is just beginning. Here's another article. Getting drinking water to more uh, in Puerto Rico brings challenges. This is uh, 2.58 p.m. This was on September 28th. Although water and food supplies have been delivered to residents standing on the island, San Juan Mayor Carmen Yulin Cruz told CNN more can be done. She said thousands of shipping containers with food and water and other supplies are sitting at Port of San Juan due to jurisdictional situation. Now there's a whole nother situation, they say. Jurisdictional situation? FEMA Director Brock Long says supplies are arriving in Puerto Rico, but delivering them to cities is the issue. Okay. So hurricane wiped out roads. There we go. Impassable roads. 
and devastated island imports and shipping ports, okay? Impassable roads, okay? You can read this article or pause it and read it on your own time. Uh, but I'm, I'm just touching bases on some things so you can see. Finding water in Puerto Rico, an endless game of cat and mouse. This is October the 12th. Right here it says after a day spent working, and you'll see how long it's been. The dark uh, without air conditioning, uh, Iris Durez and her neighbor CVS Drugstore desperate for what was quickly to become the most sought after item in Puerto Rico. That's bottled water. A sales clerk standing by with the check counter explained that the store had been out of stock for three days. I don't know how to pronounce that. Nuna Solabella, I don't know how to do that. But basically, she, she was asking in Spanish, not even one little bottle. She had, They had no water. Okay, and y'all saw the date on that. In Puerto Rico, containers full of goods sit undistributed. Y'all have already seen this. That was on September 28th. Watch and pray is what I'm warning today. As this is the beginning. What did I say? Fulfilled and fulfilling. This is the beginning of birth pains, of lack, beginning of birth pains, of scarce, scarcity. But the, those of you that's of the Lord, be encouraged, because the Lord said there will be surplus in times of scarcity. In times of judgment, there will be great exploits at the same time. So while there is turmoil going on, the people of God are going to be doing miraculous things, and they will have surplus in times of scarcity. Watch and pray. This is the beginning. Fulfilled and fulfilling. Ezekiel 33, 7 through 9, I am warning the wicked. Warn them from me, says the Lord. There's a sword coming. You shall surely die in your wickedness lest you repent. I'm warning the righteous. Because righteous, the, those who think you always have your salvation, no. If you hear there's going to be fruit, fruit of the spirit, you're going to love your brethren. So those of you who are compete, competing, strife, jealous, hateful, you know, comparing yourself with other people, bringing down other people, talking about other people, mocking other people, that's not the spirit of God. There must be a difference between the clean and the unclean. Clean people don't mock people. Clean people don't tease people. Clean people don't talk about people. Clean people don't spread rumors. Clean people don't aid and abet the enemy in dragging down a brother and sister. Whoa. Repent. I'm one of the righteous, according to Ezekiel 3 and 20. Because the blood is not going to be up on my head. Your own wickedness. This is to the wicked and righteous alike that won't turn. Your wickedness will correct thee. Your own backsliding will reprove you. Jeremiah 2, verse 19. Thine own wickedness shall correct thee, and thy own backsliding shall reprove thee. Know therefore and see that it is an evil thing and bitter that thou hast forsaken the Lord thy God, and that my fear is not in thee, saith the Lord of hosts. That means those of you who even say that you're his, you have forsaken him. You're living in the world. You're living for the world. You're living like the world. You look no different from the world. You act no different from the world. You do everything the world do. You watch everything the world watch. You go everywhere the world go. You have forsaken the Lord your God. You will be in this judgment too. Okay? Pay attention. The Lord says, return unto me, and I return unto you. Acts 3 and 19, repent ye therefore and be converted, that your sins may be blotted out. For God is not willing, the Lord is not willing for any to perish, but for all to come to repentance and to be saved. Know that it don't matter what you've done, but you got to repent. There's no other way. There's no other name by which a man can be saved. And this is Ambassador Chantrell Davis. I am, I am reporting the comings of the glorious kingdom of God. Time is up. We have a merciful father. Cry it while you can, because I'm telling y'all, the stuff that's about to hit, I'm telling you, and I will say boldly, if we get through this year without war, I'll be shocked. I will be shocked. I know it's coming. But if we get through this year without it, this will be one surprise system. I just know it's coming. But I'll be shocked if it wasn't by the end of the year. Whosoever calls on the name of the Lord shall be saved. I've said before, whosoever. That includes everybody breathing. I don't care what you do know. You can repent. Humble yourself under the mighty hand of God that you might be saved. Come off and among them and be ye separate that you be not partakers of the plagues and the wrath and the judgment. This is Ambassador Chantrell Davis. That's all I have for you today on Rule of the Ruach. This is fulfilled and fulfilling. A word from the Lord, we prove that he speaks to his servants, his sons and his daughter. Grace be with you, and I love you all. This is all I have. Stay tuned for the next episode. Well, that's all we have for you today. But in closing, brothers and sisters, we are in the last days. Remember, the word of God warns, Behold, I'm against you, almost proud. 
So return unto the Lord, and he'll return unto you. Now is the time of your salvation. Choose this day who you will serve. Life and death has been set before you. Choose life that you may live. And I want all watching to know, the Lord is not willing that any should perish, but he is desiring for everyone to come to repentance. So repent, call upon the name of Jesus, who is Christ our Lord. Be ye reconciled that you might be saved. This is Ambassador Chantro Davis announcing the coming of the glorious kingdom of God. Let the Lord be magnified. Again, thank you for joining me today on Roar of the Ruach. Until next time, stay watchful and stay prayerful.